G'day, Cheryl here. Just wanted to show you how to mark assignments within Moodle. They're a little bit different than forums and there are a number of different steps that you need to go through. So this is an example of an assignment here where a student has had to download the document, they've typed their answers in the document and they've uploaded it again for marking. So what you can see is that you have an option there to view any submitted assignments and you can see at this point there's only one submitted assignment and that is from student two. This is their assignment here and you can go and grade it by clicking on this. So if you click on this another little window will open and you can click on their assignment and have a look at it. So this is just going to open it in Word. It was a case study and they had to fill in their answers. Now this assignment was about depression and you can see by looking at their um, responses they believe that appropriate treatment for depression is lollies and that the reason that Betty may be depressed is because she wasn't given enough lollies. So you can see that this student obviously doesn't have a really good understanding of major depression. So in this instance you would want the student to resubmit their assignment. So the grade you would give them, you click on that little drop down list and you can put in not achieved and you would give them some feedback. Um, uh, lollies um, to help depression. I think that'd go a way to start but um, and then you might just say please Please resubmit. Now, there's a little tick box here for send notification emails. What that means is a student will get an email as soon as you save the changes to say that this has been marked. So we're going to save that. Now, I haven't quite finished in that window, but what you will notice is that the grade has appeared, not achieved, and that's the start of your feedback. If you click on now, you'll notice that has changed to update. Because the other thing I wanted to show you was that this particular assignment, once they've submitted it, they can't change it. So what you need to do is to revert it to the draft to a draft. So th what that means is that they'll then be able to resubmit that assignment. The other thing that you might want to do is to add a file in there for them to look at. So if you had a sample answer or another case study you'd like them to have a look at, you could attach that file there. So um, I'm just going to save that now and get back out. So you can see this was the date the student submitted the assignment. This was the date that and the time that you marked it. You're very efficient, only seven minutes after the student submitted it. And what will happen now is they'll have an opportunity to resubmit and you go through the same process again. The other option that you've got on this page is this allow quick grading and I'll just tick that on and click save preferences and you'll notice what happens now you can enter your response directly in here so um, you could type your answer in there and if you had 10 students you could do all of those and click on save all my feedback at the same time. You can click um, directly on this and open it. The only thing that you can't do is actually re do the um, change this here to be back to a draft. So you would still have to go into this separate window to open that. But that is sometimes an easy way to do it, the quick grading, and then you've got it all there. So I think that's about it and I hope that all makes sense. There is another video that shows what a student does and then you can see your feedback and how they go about resubmitting that. So if you want to go and have a look at that, then you get to see there what they see as well and it might make a bit more sense. Okay, I hope that helps. See ya.